Hey guys, welcome to another episode of 4 Drive DIY. What we're going to cover today is what AdBlue actually is and how it works in your car. AdBlue is actually a mixture of aqueous urea solution made with 32.5% urea and 67.5% deionized water. It is more properly known as diesel exhaust fluid. Diesel engines can be run with a lean burn air to fuel ratio over stoichiometric to ensure the full combustion of soot and prevent the exhaust of unburnt fuel. The excess of air necessarily leads to a generation of nitrogen oxides which are harmful pollutants from the use of nitrogen in the air. Selective catalytic reduction is used to reduce the amount of NOx released into the atmosphere. This can be achieved in a number of ways. One of the most popular in recent years was through the use of exhaust gas recirculation. However, with emissions regulations including Euro 6 and Euro 7 becoming stricter on emissions, new methods of reducing NOx were needed. Diesel exhaust fluid from a separate tank within the vehicle is injected into the exhaust system where the aqu aqueous urea vaporises and decomposes to form ammonia and carbon dioxide. Now at this point, I should point out that diesel exhaust fluid is required to go into a separate tank as I've seen posts on places like Facebook where people have asked if they could put AdBlue and other diesel exhaust fluids into the fuel to reduce the emissions. You absolutely cannot unless you want to blow your motor. Once the diesel exhaust fluid has passed into the exhaust system and the ammonia has broken down, the NOx are catalytically reduced by the ammonia into water and nitrogen, which are both harmless and are then released through the exhaust. Now, another thing people seem to rave on about is the safety. As some people know, mixtures of things like urea-based compounds and diesel can have disastrous side effects. Now, it should be pointed out the urea solution is clear, non-toxic and safe to handle. However, it can corrode some metals and must be stored and transported carefully. Hence why many AdBlue tanks on vehicles are made of plastic and AdBlue is carried in plastic jerry cans. Lastly, the use of diesel exhaust fluid is generally injected at a metered rate into the exhaust system. Now, whilst a particular rate is dependent on the system, it generally falls between 2 to 6% of fuel consumed. This low dosage rate ensures long distance intervals of your diesel exhaust fluid. An electric control unit meters the addition of diesel exhaust fluid into the exhaust regarding operating temperatures and speed. Heavy application such as agriculture and trucks use diesel exhaust fluid in larger rates as opposed to small passenger vehicles which are used to run down to the shops. So thanks for watching. If you like this video please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to the channel and don't forget the little bell to ensure you get notifications. If you have any ideas for topics for us to cover, please leave them in the comments.